Let's light it up like neon, baby, or at least like my gums. I went to the dentist this morning and now I'm pretty sure they're permanently Ooh. fluorescent. What is up, my dudes? Welcome back to my channel. So today we are here to talk about the forgotten genre of neon pop punk. And you're probably thinking, did you make that up, Sage? Are you just coming up with your own genres now? No, but I am old and tend to remember things that not many people remember. Neon pop punk actually happened to be my favorite genre for a long time back in middle school and high school. That was pretty much exclusively what I listened to. If you're not familiar with the genre, it's basically pop punk, but made to be more fun sounding. The clothes were a lot more electrifying in terms of color palette. There was a lot of animal print involved. Most bands who played this genre were also likely to have emo friends and be sponsored by Glamour Kills. And because I love to reminisce about things that will never make a comeback, I have decided to list out 10 neon pop punk songs that you probably uh. forgot about. These are all bands that were pretty notable around the late 2000s, so if you didn't grow up around then, or you were late to the game or whatever, you probably haven't heard of most of these, but a lot of you will. So let's go ahead and get started. These are in no particular order. First up on this list is the song Runaway by Artist Verse Poet. So this band was definitely a standout. This was one of their bigger songs. It had a very popular music video at the time. This was really like the release that got them on the map. Just looking at them, they pretty much look like your standard neon pop punk band, pretty run of the mill. But what I mostly liked about this band in particular was the vocalist tone he had like almost it was definitely more high-pitched I'll give you that but something about it was also precious in a way I don't really know how else to explain it it sounds like you're listening to like a candy cane stuck in your ear like it has like a very soft sweet quality and yeah this song is just a bop so moving right along we have the song I just want to run by the downtown fiction so if you were a neon pop punk kid you probably know this song it was definitely one of the more popular ones on this list it was also pretty much this band's only known hit and was also featured on the soundtrack for the show the flash which I didn't know until I did my research earlier today yeah this song definitely got around I'm really not sure why their career did not sustain itself because of their features on The Flash or just their general popularity. I don't know if they broke up, if they just decided to take a long hiatus. I'm not sure. I mean, maybe they moved on to an uptown reality and got themselves a nice apartment and a job. Hey, we all grow up. It's bound to happen someday. Moving on to number three, we have the song Stuttering by the Friday Night Boys. So this band actually got a decent amount of traction at the start of their career. They had an EP that was pretty popular. And then when they released their full length off the deep end, they actually ended up gaining a spot on the Glamour Kills tour with All Time Low, We The Kings. I actually tried to catch their set on said tour, but missed out due to unforeseen circumstances. So if you'd like to hear that story, go check out that video. But Anyway, back to the main focus. This band quickly disbanded and their lead singer, Andrew Goldstein, since then has had like astronomical, astronomical success, probably more success than anybody on this list, which is funny because if you heard his name, you'd probably not recognize him, but you'll recognize his producing credits because, oh boy, has he produced everything like this man does not stop let's list off a few examples shall we so he's worked with i don't know katie perry britney spears lincoln park demi lovato five seconds of summer black bear neo celine dion wow young blood fifth harmony i mean the list just goes on. On top of that, he has his own solo project called Friend, which has been abbreviated to FRND. So since disbanding the Friday Night Boys, he has since become a weekend man sensation. That was a terrible joke, but you get what I'm trying to say. Let me enjoy my seltzer in peace, okay? Next up is the song Kids in Love by Red Car Wire. So I'm gonna be honest, this is definitely one of the lesser known bands on this list. And I actually ended up hearing about this band by a former classmate like I didn't end up finding them on any of my internet searches at the time I really just got word of this band through word of mouth and I don't even think that this song was the biggest song off of this release I think affinity was the single off of this EP but I just like this song I just like this song can I say anything else not really because I don't really have much else to go off of but 
This song is just cute, as is most neon pop punk. I mean, that's really the whole point of the genre, is to be cute, happy, and whatnot. So, I mean, they did their job good in that case. I think we can let it rest then. Moving to the halfway point on this list, we have the song So Obvious by Runner Runner. So again, had a very short-lived career, but managed to do a lot in that short-lived career. For anybody out there who's an all-time low fan, I'm pretty sure that one of the musicians from this band is somehow related to Zach Merrick, their bassist. Some Someone can fact check me on that, but I'm pretty sure it's true. Notably, they were featured on both Jimmy Kimmel Live and The Late Show with David Letterman, and their song Hey Alley was featured as iTunes single of the week. If that doesn't make you feel old, then I don't know what does. So obviously, their career was short, but very sweet. And we move on to the next entry on this list, which is the song Camera Shy by Schoolboy Humor. Schoolboy Humor was another one that I didn't really get to hear about other than just random compilations of emo bands on YouTube because that's how we used to find bands back then. We didn't have Spotify or any of you fancy schmancy searches. We had to go basically off of crappy 480p quality videos on the internet. This was this band's only really known song. It didn't really get that much traction, but anyone who's familiar with this genre will probably recognize it by listening to the chorus, which takes us to number seven on this list, which is the song No One Can Touch Us by Sing It Loud featuring All Time Low's Alex Gasgarth. Y'all, this song is catchy. I don't really have anything else to say here. It's really just a catchy song. Everything they put out was pretty, I'm not gonna lie, commercial sounding. It sounded like they were trying to fit in with every other band at the time and didn't really get the chance to explore themselves. You definitely started to hear more of their original sound on their second release. But at this point, this song and this album is just a classic. So let's move on to the eighth song on this list, which is Heartbeat by Stereo Skyline. Yeah, so fun fact, uh, Stereo Skyline, at least where I come from, are hometown heroes because they live in the same town as my parents, or at least their drummer does. I don't know if he still does, but he did for a time, according to friends of mine. So anyway, they notably played the Bamboozle Road Show, which I attended. I saw them live. I saw the swarms of teen girls trying to get their picture live because, oh yes, they had an entourage and I was there to witness it, along with the many other bands that were there, but notably this one. I'm not sure what the members are doing nowadays. One of their members, I think, might be a DJ and like be out in like Nevada or something last time I checked. I really don't know. I personally don't know them firsthand, but what a tale to tell people that you came from the same town as Stereo Skyline. Is this my only claim to fame? Second to last on this list is probably the most well-known song on this list. If you don't know this song and you grew up during this time, then obviously you don't have ears because this song was everywhere. It's the song Chelsea by The Somerset. Let's take this back to 2005. I mean, did you even need to be a scene kid to know this song? Because I'm pretty sure everyone did whether they wanted to or not. This is one of those songs that you could definitely see being played on like Radio Disney. In fact, the person that this song is about, I'm pretty sure was a Disney star. It's about Chelsea Kane, who is an actress, and I'm pretty sure she was on a show with the Jonas Brothers. And then she later danced to this song on Dancing with the Stars with her partner. It's this whole big to do. But at this point, this song is just Americana. You go to any emo night, this song is bound to play at some point. It might be played in like the wee hours of the night when everyone's starting to clear out, but it'll get there nonetheless. Uh. And last but not least on this list is of course the song Candles Sick and Tired by The White Tie Affair. I never really got into this band. I know they were big for like a little short period of time. And this song was on like everybody's MySpace for a really long time, but I just personally never really got into them. Wasn't this the band that dressed in like suits all the time or am I just hallucinating? I think so. Okay, maybe not, but they did dress up a lot and most of their color palette was grayscale. So I mean, I'm not sure what look they were going for, but that's not what matters. What matters is the song, and the song will go down in the books. Everyone likes this song, or at least if you were into this type of music. So that is the end of this list. If you guys like this list and it threw you for a loop, make sure to give it a like below. Were there any songs that I was missing off of this list? Make sure to tell me them in the comment section below. Also, if you're new to my channel, hello, how's it going? 
Make sure to hit the garbage out of that subscribe button, also hitting the bell icon next to it to get the first notice of when my videos go up. I upload every Thursday. To all of my subscribers who have been here before, thank you so much for watching week after week. It really does mean so much to me. Well, I'm off to go attempt to bring Live Journal back from the dead, so I will see you guys next time. Bye!